this is not the greatest summertime grilled appetizer in the world, I will eat my hat. Fortunately, I don't have a hat. Well, okay. It was taken back. I want to be able to wear hats. I look terrible in them, I think. And I found a hat that I liked. I think I have a picture of it. Your fedora? I don't think technically it's a fedora, but it's fedora-like. Anyway, my wife, Kelly, Mrs. Cooking Guy, allowed me to buy it knowing that somebody would tell me it looked like because she didn't want to do that. I still like it, but stand by. What do you think? Tell us in the comments. Hat or no hat? I wasn't really comfortable sharing that. Look. Obviously, I thought I looked okay in it when I bought it. It's a bold statement. Wearing a hat's a big thing. And the problem is, if I had always worn some sort of hat, adding a different type of hat, it's not a big deal. Oh, there's Sam in that white hat, there's Sam in a black hat, that's fine. I can't even wear a baseball hat like these two boys behind the cameras. I just don't look good in them. We've got Not Not Taco hats, can't wear them. Sam the Cooking Guy hats, can't wear them. This big, white, Miami, Cuban guy hat, I loved. Can't wear it. Or you tell me in the comments, yes to the hat, no to the hat. That's all you have to put. But now let's get to this. Sausage and peppers, and I think we've all had sausage and peppers, but this is in a way that makes it an appetizer for people to share. It's not just like a big plate of it, like it just, you know, came out of your Nona's kitchen. That kind, like a Goodfellas. It's not that kind, it's a different kind. Here's the plan. We start some uh, onions and peppers cooking. We make an aioli, then we build this. Max has no idea and Chancellor has no idea. I'm the only one with an idea. And I hope it's a good idea because apparently the hat was not a good idea and that was my idea too. Okay, onions, peppers first. To our hot pan, a few blips of oil, and then some diced red pepper and white onion, or yellow onion, or red onion. I don't care what color, it's all gonna be good. So this, we're only softening. About three, four minutes, then we'll take it out. And while this is softening, we make our simple aioli. Into our bowl, we start with some mayo. And it looks like that. I've got two cloves of garlic in my press. We'll bang those in. We have some chopped parsley for color, because I love it. I love a tiny little hit of olive oil. I like some lemon juice. What is that, maybe half a teaspoon? A little pinch of salt and pepper, and we mix. Oh boy, this is gonna make an excellent add. You're gonna see soon, Max, you're gonna see very soon. All right, let's check our peppers and onions. Look at these guys, soften beautifully. Just where I want them. Take them off and we can start this thing. First up, wow, it's a sourdough baguette. You could use a French baguette. You could use, I don't know what else they make, but you could use anything. This will be the base for our sausage and peppers. What I need to do is I need to take about the top third off of this, so using a Sam the Cooking Guy serrated knife. I'm gonna start carefully. Oh God, see that? Get a grip going first and then cut. Any ideas yet for what we're doing? I'm thinking some sort of little baby Christini. There you go. Beautiful. This, we're not using right now. This we are using, but now we need to get rid of the bread on the inside. So we're just gonna do this. We're gonna make a canoe out of this. I do believe there's a name for this. I don't know what the name is. So we're gonna call this, I don't know, the best grilled sausage and peppers appetizer you've ever had. So get most of this out. You don't wanna pick through so much, you make a hole in the bottom. It's important that what's going in this is contained within. Is that plane doing f***ing circles up there? Yeah. Cause it's getting quieter and then it's getting louder. I think they know we're down here trying to work. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain speaking. We'll just be uh, going around in a circle for a few minutes to annoy Sam the cooking guy and his crew down below us. All right, when you got your, your canoe all clean, we move on. Okay, so spread this out just a little bit. Now remember our garlic aioli. Now we come in like this. We want this spread across the bottom all the way. So, like anything we do, every bite is gonna get a little bit of this aioli. Everybody understand? All right, next up is a little layer of shredded mozzarella. Not a thick layer, just a little layer. Shredded mozzarella. Okay, the canoe is getting filled up. Beautiful. Next are onions and peppers. These go along. How's it looking so far? Beautiful. It really is. Wait, you gotta wait to the exciting part, because we're not even there yet. I hope I haven't overstuffed. 
Beautiful. Okay. Two more things. One more of the cheese. So you can put a decent layer here. We're gonna really squish this down best we can. And for that, I'll come in with a sort of a tablespoon thing. Don't worry about what happens at the edges. You're just trying to make a relatively concave-esque like situation for our last ingredient, which is Italian sausage. Now, here's what I like to do. I like to give it just a little hit of some olive oil. This is a, I don't know, it's about three quarters of a pound. I'm imagining we're gonna use about half a pound in this. So now you wanna take like here and scooch this down. The, the very exciting part is coming up that you're gonna really like. Very exciting. So do this, nice even. Try and make the layer even. If you've got an even layer, you know it's gonna cook evenly. If you have a big pile in the middle and it's thin all the way along, you're gonna be screwed because the middle part's not gonna cook. So just use your fingers. A little cheese sticking out along the way is not a bad thing at all. It's gonna make it quite pretty. So look, the amount of sausage is gonna really depend on, on the, the height of your baguette, the width of your baguette. Some of them, you can get a French loaf that's really wide. I don't know that I would wanna use that type. What I like is this sort of smaller format. And now, if it wasn't obvious, and I don't think it is, but I don't know why I said that, this is going on the grill face down. And way do you see it when it's all done. Come on, lads, let's hit it. You take your beautiful creation, and you put him face down on a medium hot grill, and you just let her go. This is gonna take about uh, six minutes or so, and then we're gonna go from here to here so we get those crosshatch marks. And after about six minutes, we wanna be gentle and have a look. Ow. Oh, it's so magnificent. God, I love that. And now we flip it back, and over we go. Up. Oh, see you in a little bit, fellas. Fella, see you in a little bit, buddy. Let's make an Italian salsa verde for dipping. We're gonna use a mortar and pestle for this. We're gonna start with a couple cloves of garlic, followed up by about a teaspoon of capers. Love a caper. Get a little red pepper flake in there, maybe half a teaspoon. We're gonna put more oil in, but I like to just drizzle a bit. I think it helps this mush. I guess if you had a small processor, you could use that. You're making a paste here. Beautiful. Next, a couple other things. We want some lemon zest, about a half a lemon. Now some actual lemon juice, a couple tablespoons. Say one decent lemon's worth will be great. Teaspoon of fish sauce. Oh my God, I got dive bombed by a bee. I'm not scared of bees, but there's fuck off. A teaspoon of fish sauce, alternatively, you could use two anchovies. I think keeping fish sauce is easier. Now about Oh, a half a cup chopped Italian flat leaf parsley. This can get a quick mix. And then the olive oil, which is now gonna be a decent amount. So now let's switch from the pestle to the spoonula. A little bit more oil. This is dipping sauce for us, folks. Salt and pepper. Now this will come out of here. It's gonna be one delicious dipping sauce for one delicious sausage and peppers appetizer. Grill. All right, I think it's ready to come off. And we're ready, seam drill as before. Gentle, 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 and oh, mamma mia. Look at that. Is that fabuloso or what? Shit. All right. Come with me, little man. We have to eat you. And voila, there we are. Look how great that is. Let me tell you what I like about this. I like that it's as delicious as all get out, but I also like that you can have this thing made and just sitting in your fridge. And then when your company comes over, you throw it on the grill. This is your appetizer with this. Shit, let's cut it and wait for the crunch. That's what you want. Look at that, cheese. You got the aioli in there, you got the cheese, you got the peppers, the onions, the more cheese. This is a fantastic thing. Damn, oh man. Look, make them all pretty. Your friends are like, what's that? You got sausage and peppers. Well, that doesn't look like sausage, so you just wait. You, when you eat it, that's what it's gonna taste like. No, no, it's a fucking appetizer. <laughs> and then there you go. Boom. You want to put a little of this on everybody? You can do that. So now, uh, look, there's only one thing left to do. You know what that is. So let me take a little bit of this. Oh, mother God. Mother may I. Look what this is. Look how gorgeous. But better than how it, look all this cheese in here, man. And the, the onions and the peppers. But better than how it looks is gonna be how it tastes. So let's get on it. 
I just want you to see this one side before I take a bite. Do you see it glistening with all the oil from the salsa verde dripping down? And this side, just filled with cheese. Mozzarella. Mozz. Hey, how is it? Let me take a bite and I'll tell you. Oh my God. So I tested it this morning before the boys got here. I did not put the onions in the peppers or the aioli. I just did a layer of cheese in the sausage. 